All right, so I have this panel off because uh, I had to get to this uh, fuel filler door actuator. So when I lock it, oh, look at that. It started working. Literally a few minutes ago, it was not. See, it's stuck now. Come on. I think it just needs some lubrication. So I was gonna order a new one, but uh, you know, I think I'm gonna mess with it a little bit. It's, it's like right over there. Uh, might need just lubrication so I'll probably try to pull it out and clean it and lube it up because it like works intermittently it wasn't working at all right now I just kind of started messing with it and started working so here's the door lock actuator what I did I think is I moved this thing manually like that yeah, that's why it was out. But once I tried testing it electrically, it wasn't working. This is the original from 2003. So anyways, here's the connector for it. I'm about to or connect the multimeter, check for voltage here. We'll see if uh, wiring is okay. If it's okay, then we're gonna order a new actuator for the fuel door. All right, so here's the key. Here's this lock actuator, and I suspect it's bad. Yep, so I'm gonna go ahead and activate it. Watch the multimeter. I'm gonna lock it. Look at that, it was 12 volts, that's good. Now I'm gonna unlock it. Yep, so the wiring is all good. And now I'm gonna show, I'm gonna reconnect this guy and show you that it's not working. Really don't know if I'm gonna be taking it apart, try to fix it, but I'm just gonna order a new one. Okay, so this is all connected now. Let's do the same test. Unlock. Just watch this carefully. Lock. It's not moving at all. Unlock. Lock. Nothing. All right, I was trying to get it to work a couple of times. Moved this key out like this, but no luck so far. So I'm gonna order a new one. A few moments later. All right guys, it's been about a week. Finally got my parts, got a new part for it. This is for the door lock actuator right here. I'm gonna replace it with this brand new one. All right, so I pre-installed it right there, brand new part. So let's go ahead, open the car, lock it. Sweet, let's install it. All right, so I'm almost done installing this guy. First, you actually have to align it, install it, and then connector is gonna be at the end. Okay, before I put this paneling back together, let's check this guy. All right, so lock it. Before I put the paneling back together, let's check this. So it's in the locked position now. Unlock it. Lock it. Unlock it. Sweet. It's fixed. Let's go ahead and put all this stuff back. And like I said, I put some silicone paste on that shaft. Make sure it does. Sometimes it can slow it down when it goes in and out. So you want to put some grease. Now we gotta change this fuel filter. It's all the way there. Let's see. Try to get to that. Right there. So yeah, four hoses and clamp right there. I'm gonna disconnect that. This is the old fuel filter right here. Hasn't been changed in a long time. Yeah, I don't even know if it's, it could be factory, I don't know. But 
this hose i have to replace this hose as you can see it's pretty bad right here especially in this area so i changed it up all right so we got the a new fuel filter everything is connected you have to be really really careful when you're dealing with these hoses taking them off don't rip them but this one i replaced this one this is a brand new one right here going that way yeah and brand new fuel filter no leaks everything looking amazing car is running Ugh. beans got the sway bar painted in these spots and got these new bushings I'm gonna go on right here added a bunch of silicone paste I'm not gonna add this bushing bleeding front brakes now and adjusting wheel bearings all right guys we got last few pieces for this car sway bar links they're gonna go in the front suspension and everything's gonna be done after that basically so and uh, i adjusted the alignment to the best of my ability using an old school method with a string so yeah just have to reinstall these uh sway bar links brand new ones the old ones were bad <laughs> 